everybody, Siki here, and I did a New Year's Eve look last year, so I figured, why not do one this year? So that's what I'm doing. But first, coffee, and yes, with the straw. Gotta protect those pearly whites. All right, so here we go. My eyes are already primed. I've already muted out the discoloration, and now I am going on top with a base, and this is a eyeshadow stick by Jordana, and I don't remember the color, but I will put it in the description box, but you can use a NYX jumbo pencil, or you can even use an eyeliner, but make sure See that mistake right there? Make sure if you use an eyeliner that you use one that does not dry super fast so that you can clean up your mistakes, all right? So now we are going into Tan Lines by Makeup Geek. And always start off really subtle, especially when you're doing a smoky eye, actually with any eye look. Start off subtle and then build up, like I'm about to do right here. I'm now using Cabin Fever by Makeup Geek, but I didn't want to start off harsh because it's easier to fix your mistakes if you start off simple. You feel me? Okay. So now I'm using Cabin Fever and I'm just blending that in my crease. And you guys know I talked about this in the last video I did on a smoky eye how you fill in the middle so that it has like a gradient effect or go in the details of your crease. So that's what I'm doing with a detailed crease brush and I'm using the color Corrupt by Makeup Geek. Now, let me tell you right now, I did like 99.9% .9 blending off camera, okay? Just so you know. Smoky eyes, they're simple, but you have to blend a whole lot. As you see, I'm still blending. Two hours later. No, I'm just kidding. But anyway, so after I blended that out with the crease brush, I'm going back in with Cabin Fever by Makeup Geek and just blending that out. And y'all know, it would not be right if we left Peach Smoothie out of this video, right? Because I love it, I do. Love it, I love it. Love it, I love it, I love it. No, I'm just kidding. But anyway. So once you get that on, once you put your like 50 layers, because that's probably what I did, blend that out again. And this is a quad from L'Oreal that I absolutely love, you guys. Now it's like a, it's a glittery eyeshadow and I could have used Fix Plus, but I decided not to use Fix Plus because I much rather that simple, subtle kiss of glitter, right? I didn't want to pack it on. And so I'm really, really glad I did it that way. So just remember that you can make it intense or not. And I chose, to, or not, all right? Pack that on into your little heart's content, okay? And then I decided, let's go hard. Go hard or go home. So I decided to smoke out my lash line too. So I am using the Makeup Geek Corrupt as well, and I'm using a pencil brush, and I'm just, you know, just smoking out that lash line down there. And then I am gonna add a liner because I didn't want it to be so harsh, but I didn't wanna go with a nude liner because hello, it's New Year's Eve. So I decided to go with an eyeliner that had a metallic feel to it. And this is Ocean by Makeup Geek, I believe it is, but I got you in the description box. So I'm adding that in the lash line, but I also went down into that shadow as well. And now this shadow is in high wire and I'm putting that in the inner corner because the glitter has, like it has hints of green and silver in it so i wanted to pull out those colors and my favorite lashes y'all and oh by the way got a new hairdo just did a little pony okay so now i'm priming my face with the it cosmetics bye bye pores primer and i started to put on my foundation and i was like omg girl you cannot forget your corrector okay so the corrector got me right real quick this is makeup forever and it's r50 and you guys it's so amazing i've been using it ever since i got it okay so now that we have that all corrected now we're going into the foundation and i've been loving this mixture of the becca and the um urban decay all nighter they have been perfect for me and so i've been using that like i figured since i use it like when i go to events along with my clinique or in lieu of my Clinique, I figure why not do it for New Year's Eve look, right? And that sponge you saw or the sponge you see me using, you guys, I have a video on that. I have a video on the primer. Girl, I will link all the videos I have in this video, okay? Because I have a whole lot, I'm sure. So now I'm using my Too Faced Concealer, the Born This Way Concealer. I am using Dark and Tan because both of them mixed together are the perfect combination. And so I'm blending that out. And also, this sponge, you guys, by L'Oreal, do not sleep on it, do not sleep. I think that it is my favorite sponge ever now. Seriously, I think it beats the beauty blender. Ah, I can't even talk, you see what I'm saying? I got too excited. But I think that it beats the beauty blender, hands down. Just saying. 
Now I'm setting my concealer with this RCMA powder and I do have a video on that too. Gosh, I hope I can link them all. If I can't link them all in this video, I will put them in the description box as well. But now I'm contouring, got a video on that too, just saying. But I'm not gonna like waste your time on talking about the contour because I have a whole separate in-depth video. So now I'm setting everything with my BH Cosmetics powder and this brush is the Morphe E1 because I get a whole lot of questions about it. It's as amazing as it looks, just saying. So now I am doing my contour with a Becca powder. I believe the color is dark golden. And now, which blush? How about two? So I am using Max Copper Tone and Max Pink Swoon. Odi but goody, y'all. Odi but goody. And now this highlighter. Oh, Ofra Beverly Hills. This is one of my faves. It's still a fave. And so I am just like putting that on those cheekbones, girl. Like, ooh and on my nose. And now this is a new lippy by Makeup Geek. I do have a lip swatch video coming, but these are the plush cream lippies and this one is in Jet Setter and OMG, I love it as a nude for me. With a little bit of gloss from Maybelline, this shine shot, and it is on and cracking. Do y'all see that? I'm like so happy with this look. It came out really, really great. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all your love and support. I appreciate you guys. Have an awesome, blessed day, and I'll see you sooner than you think. Bye.